Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing freedom of speech here in Thailand. And a recent article, this is from the Bangkok Post print edition. And this is Saturday, August 7, 2021. Uh, the article's title is Civil Court Rules Against Premier's Media Gag Order. And for those who recall, we've done a video on kind of tangential to this where we've discussed they, they basically a, a new order came out that basically was trying to restrict any speech that might cause fear or panic. And there, there's a number of organizations that had major issues with this. And as, as, as I noted in the video, if the fear and panic was fear and panic that could be caused as a result of reporting on, for example, the situation with respect to the pandemic in Thailand, I sort of took note of the fact that, hey, maybe actually looking at the numbers might be a, you know, a good idea. That, that probably is a better remedy than anything. But that said, uh, the courts here in Thailand, uh, specifically the, Thai, the civil court in Bangkok, have gone ahead and they didn't tend to agree with the provisions of this, of this order and have gone ahead and overturned it. Quoting directly from that article, again, this is Bangkok Post, print edition, August 7, 2021. Article is titled, Civil Court Rules Against Premier's Media Gag Order. Quoting directly, the civil court in Bangkok yesterday put the brakes on a prime ministerial order issued against the media under the emergency decree, saying the order was ambiguous and broad in nature and deprived people of their rights and freedom. Quoting further, one regulation banned distribution of information that might, quote, frighten the public, unquote, and the other involved suspension of internet services to IP addresses that propagated information that may, quote, frighten the public, unquote. Quoting further, in its order, the civil court said the regulation which banned the dissemination of information having a risk of frightening people was ambiguous and broad, the ban was not limited to false information and therefore restricted the rights and freedoms of the 12 signators, signatories and the public in general, it said. And there were a number of parties that went ahead and a number of journalistic groups, press freedom groups that sort of came together to go ahead and file that you know, request for relief from the courts. And the courts have gone ahead and granted some relief. And you know, this is certainly, I think it, you know, as I've said before in previous videos, censorship is never a good thing. And, you know, I think it's, I think it's definitely, definitely positive development. I, I think it's also interesting that the order was broad and ambiguous. That, that seemed to be the main sort of issue with the court, which that's always kind of been the main attack on freedom of speech restrictions, at least, for example, in the American jurisprudence on the topic, you know, things being overbroad or things that may have a chilling effect. It's so ambiguous that it may result in just all speech sort of being chilled that, you know, that you go ahead and see these kind of things get struck down for that. And, and it's definitely, not only is it interesting, but I think it's, again, it's a positive thing to see the court go ahead and say, yeah, the, you know, we're dealing with this under the emergency decree, we get it, but there's a certain sort of point where it, where it sort of stops, and they went ahead and, you know, sort of drew that line in the sand, for lack of a better term. Now, it would be interesting to see, I, th I thought it was interesting, that the order was ambiguous and broad in nature, and deprived people of their rights and freedom. Uh, I would be curious to see if we could maybe see any challenges to some of the lockdown provisions because, you know, a, a ambiguous and de deprivation of freedom, you know, I'm, I, I think there may be some arguments to be made with, that, with respect to that. Also, as we've discussed in other videos on this channel, I, I personally kind of question the, the efficacy of that particular initiative. And I know that reasonable people disagree on that, but I frankly think at this point it's rather self-evident. The, but the point, and the point of this video is freedom of speech. And the, you know, I definitely think overall this is, I, I, I think it's, it's probably a moment 
it may be an inflection point, for lack of a better term, or, or, or maybe just a notable point in time with respect to jurisprudence in Thailand regarding freedom of speech. So it definitely will be something that we'll kind of keep our eye on on this channel as the situation evolves.